In this video, I'll take you through opening your repository in offline mode. <coughs> uh, I've done a video earlier that shows you how to connect your repository online. I will leave a link in the description for that video for your reference. But for some reasons, you might want to open your repository offline or you were not able to configure the online opening of the repository. So in this video, I'll show you how to open your repository offline. Uh, the process of opening your repository offline is that you have to download the repository, do the modification, and then upload the repository. Of course, you have to make sure that your services are up and running. So I will quickly check for status of the services. Okay, so as you can see, my services are up and running. In your case, if they're not running, you have to make sure you start your services and get them up and running. Just to verify what we're doing right now, uh, I will open my dashboard and we'll do some modification and we'll verify that the modification have been done successfully after modifying the repository. I will go ahead, go ahead and create a new analysis. <coughs> I select the subject area as you can see I have uh, ERT survey here I'm gonna do one modification to this column right now it's called ERT category test we will change it in the repository in offline mode and then we'll check and see that it has modified it correctly to be able to download your repository you have to go to PI tools directory it is located under Oracle middleware user projects domains BI BI tools pin the command name is um, data model <coughs> CMD so we have to download the direct uh, the repository I usually like to save them in uh, this location because this is the default location where admin tools open the repository. I go to Oracle, Middleware, BI, BI Foundation, and Servers. So this is going to be the location where the downloaded repository will be saved as data model dash cmd dot cmd. We have to tell the system that we want to download the RPD, so we'll use download RPD. We use the capital O switch to specify uh, the repository name. I usually like to save my repository under this location, so I'll copy this path and paste it here, and I'll call it my rpd.rpd. I'll use the minus W switch to specify the repository password, which in my case is welcome one. And I'll use minus P switch, sorry, minus U switch to specify the WebLogic user, which is WebLogic, and minus P for the WebLogic password. In my case, it's welcome one. One last thing, I have to specify the service instance name minus SI uh, by default the system uh, by default it's SSI whenever you install um, orbit 12c if you want to double check the uh, instance name the way to do it is you go to domain home Oracle middleware user projects domains BI BI data services instances and this is the name SSI so here we'll specify it, SSI uh, we're good to go now the system will download the repository into this location where we can modify it and then upload it again okay once you get RPD download successfully that means that your repository is downloaded now this is the repository now I will start the admin tools.
we will open it in offline mode so open offline by default it comes to the cell the directory that we that I have specified so I'll select my repository and open it I supply the repository password which is welcome one in my case and now this is my repository in offline mode I'll do one modification and we'll cross check that the modification was done successfully once we upload the repository I'll modify this column name I'll remove test I'll save the repository I don't want to check global consistency now my repository is saved now this repository file contains uh, the modified repository now what we have to do we have to upload the repository back again so basically it's the same command we have to do a couple of changes and instead of downloading the repository we will do we will use upload repository so I'll remove the download and I'll replace it with upload instead of the minus O for the repository name I will have to use minus I uh, the rest is the same once I run this command I should get RPD upload completed successfully. As you can see, RPD upload completed successfully. Now what we have to go do is go back to uh, the web interface and cross check the changes. This is the name of the column before we modified the repository. We have to refresh the metadata. So we'll come here and say reload files and metadata. We wait until it's completed. Okay, we go back now and we create a new analysis. We select the subject area. We come down and confirm that the changes we've done in offline mode have been showing on our Web pages. As you can see, this is after the modification. Great. So what we've done is that we've downloaded the repository, did some of uh, did some modification in offline mode, and then we uploaded the repository. We refreshed the metadata, and then now we can see our changes. I hope this helps. Thank you very much.